Yo, Shalom, I got this camera going. Got it going. Shalom, all praises to Yahweh. Praises to his son, Yahweh Shah, to all the uh, brothers out there that's put in the work. Uh, I was just about to jump into this. Uh, <laughs> Shalom, all praises to Yahweh. All praises to his son, Yahweh Shah, who the world calls Jesus Christ. Spirit. <laughs> Speak up. All praises to the brothers out there that's doing the work, man, across the world, man. About to go in this, uh... Jeremiah 23 and 1. The only reason why I'm breaking this out because that was a parable of the movie It. Uh, it was in the sewer, you feel me? Like, you see this scary-ass motherfucker, you ain't going down there, but... You want a sandwich or something, you go down there. That's how these pastors get your ass, man. Oh, yeah, the, the pastors is like Pennywise. They get you in that sewer, then they get your ass up, man. Uh, Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe be to the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, says the Lord, the God of Israel, the God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. You have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit them, the evil of your doing, says the Lord. But really, that's just talking about fucking the two-thirds though. They ain't talking about the elect. He's talking about these two-thirds out here. Because we ain't we ain't getting that bullshit knowledge from these uh, so-called... I mean, when we back in, when we wasn't in our right mind, that's what was leading us, though. All they was doing was leading them to the truth anyway. Because we was going to come out, out that bullshit anyway. But, uh... Hey, that go to them fake Israelite teachers, too. Oh, definitely. All them bullshit artists Israelite teachers. Yeah. I-U-I-C, G-O-C-C. Oh, shit, G-O-C just came out and said, uh, all nations can be saved, man. They're full of <laughs> shit. They say mermaids are real, too. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, they have been teaching that for a while. But really, man, really, they, they evil, though. I ain't gonna, I ain't talking about G-O-C-C. Fuck, it. go ahead, you yeah. got it. Yep. Um, start at, uh, okay, all right, it says uh, Jeremiah 23 and 3, and I will gather the remnant of the flock out of all the countries where I have driven them. So about the, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, man, that goes to show you that we were scattered. And, uh, and I will drive them and will bring them again to the foes, and they shall be fruitful in the crease. I'm talking about the brothers and the truth. That's why we out here, we laboring. We out here putting in that good work. We ain't giving you that soft-spoken uh, lecture that you hear in your church or uh, how they got the mother Israelite camps, man. We ain't out here trying to... Uh, well, you got people like IUIC. They said you're not allowed to teach against Esau. Oh, yeah. See? Peraza, didn't Peraza tell us the same thing? Yeah. Peraza said what? Oh. You can't blame your problems on Esau. Right. Like, who the hell is you supposed to blame? Yes, <laughs> I, mean, I guess yourself. I guess. I mean, you got self accountability, obviously. Right. But you get Esau to blame for all kind of shit. Yeah. You can tell me you can't blame Esau. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta. Uh, Esau wicked though. Like he, he just he put poison in the air, poison in your food. He fucking he uh he do all kind of foul wicked shit. Make you pay child support, taxes, taxes, all kind of wicked ass shit, man. You gotta uh like like the brother was saying uh like. According to the scripture, we're supposed to have gold. So oh, yeah. But the so-called white man, what'd he do? He took all that gold, man. Now you got this bullshit-ass money system that ain't even shit. That's just... How you make... How, how, how uh, y'all don't have no money when the money y'all make is out of air? How y'all in debt when there was no debt to start with anyway? Wait till they go to all digital currency. No more selling shit on Craigslist unless you got the little account. Uh, no more yard sales. Unless, unless it's all tracked and traced. Yep. As, soon, as soon every transaction you're going to make is going to be tracked and traceable. That's why they're pushing cryptocurrencies. That's why Bitcoin's getting so big. Hey, that's why soon the United States government, they're going to have their own cryptocurrency. Yep. You know what I mean? Didn't they say China already got a cryptocurrency? Some people say China's behind Bitcoin. Yeah, that's what they did. But, uh, but they're going to get all currency digital and they're going to bring in that market of beast and then... Every purchase you ever make will be tracked and traced. You, 
There will be no more getting paid under the table. That, that's done away with. There will be no more under the table. No more scheming on your taxes. None of that. That's all going to be a thing of the past. And that, so it's going to be all digital. And like you said, like the, the laws in the Bible said what? Your money was supposed to be gold and silver. Not paper. Paper and cotton. Now it's not. Paper got more value than nothing. Yeah. And cryptocurrencies is nothing. It's a digit on a computer screen. It only exists in the in the uh, what in the electronic universe. This shit ain't even real. You can't even touch it. Uh, I was watching an article too. They said uh, motherfucker uh, withdrawal. Like I think it's like five thousand or something. That bank wants to call the police or something. Yeah, what kind of shit is that? <laughs> Well, you see that all the time. You go to the bank, like, I got to get two G's out. They're like, oh, you got to wait a week. But like, wait a week? God, this is my, my damn money. What you talking about wait a week? That's why you don't... That's why you only keep as much money in the bank as you need. I don't have a bank account. Like, like anytime you like, you know how uh, money ground work. Like anytime, like a brother wanna, might want to send like six, seven hundred dollars, man. You they be, you be under investigation. You under investigation. Oh, All because you sending some money. Yep. They, you won't, they won't put you under investigation. Yeah. Ain't not worry about it. It's the, the principle behind it. Right. It's the principle behind it. You don't want to track every fucking thing you do, man. Yeah. They wanna, they wanna, they wanna um, frustrate you. Scripture say he wanted to be just like the Most High. Man. Just wait till they implement the market of peace. Oh. Man, you can see how people they gonna fold easy on that one. They're like, damn, I can't buy shit without this goddamn chip. They gonna fold. They gonna fold. They, they gonna wait, take though. that chip. Two thirds can't wait. Right. That's some new shit. But you might have people that the claim they was, you know down or whatever. I ain't never gonna take that chip. Maybe they be the first ones to take the chip. Or they can't they can't get something they really want. Shit, I'm pretty sure these fucking coda buses, they already uh got something going on. They, like oh, yeah. that new coda machine is garbage too, don't you? Oh yeah. They're gonna keep the weed game going, you know? You know? Oh, they, yeah, that, the only way they'll be able to sell the weed is got to be legal now. Because there can't be no more black market. Oh, check this out. Jake ain't going to be able to get on Xbox Live without the chip. Oh, yeah, you know he get that. You know he's going to get the chip just to play the Xbox. <laughs> just think about it. Everything you do that you just take for granted is going to be on that chip. I mean, you take just logging on your Xbox, you take that for granted. This is easy, just log on. Like your computer. Phone. Get on the internet. Oh yeah? Free zone, they got the data for the scanner. Yeah, they gonna have the chip scanner, man. The shit coming soon, man. Yeah, they're gonna have new computers coming out. They're gonna uh it's gonna be good to have old computers on hand probably. But they gonna have come out with new computers that require the microchip to log on. Yeah, but they already got them chips. Though. Yeah, they do got them. So use them in the business. Yeah. That was out in the Midwest somewhere. Oregon was that Oregon? Uh, Wisconsin. Um, Wisconsin over there in Oregon. Uh, they, they, they do that out there. They, they do that out west too. Yeah. Because out in Oregon and uh, California, well, all along the West Coast, that's where all the big technology companies are, and they've been using implantable microchips to do to perform certain functions. Yeah, the game is ready, man. It's ready. The scripture says the heart. This is the time of the heart, so everything's ready, man. You just got some Edomites don't want to go right now, but eat, they're eating. The Rothschilds, they want to sit now, man. But they getting that infrastructure in place. That's the big part. And now that technology is at a place where they can make that mic have you seen how small the microchips are now? Like the one we got on the sign. That's old. They got the new microchips now. They are so small you can't like, you can't even see them. That's crazy. So, That's like they call it that nanotechnology. Yeah, so they got nanobots. They said they got nanobots that re they can reprogram your body. They can, they can inject your. Go in there and fix your. Uh, yeah, go in there and fight viruses yeah. with little miniature robots. Yeah, some type of. Yeah, that is body body moved by his own shit. 
That was bad enough. Every, all the laws already they over I just got my tax forms today. I'm, I'm afraid to look at it. And here it is. They said the white man ain't the devil, but the, uh, according to the, like the uh, elder was breaking out the uh, other day. For you to get Damn. Chip, you got to uh, cut yourself. You got to cut yourself. So therefore, you can't tell me that the so-called white man, the needle might be the devil. Because here it is. For you to get the chip, you got to cut into your skin. That's going, that's going against the... Uh, yeah, back to the Damn it. And this tie tie in here with what we're talking about. We got to put this up. Oh, you got it? Jeremiah 23 and 4. <laughs> that janky ass tripod. Over there. What's your feet there? Yeah, them other fake ass Israelite groups, they ain't feeding, they flock. Them churches damn sure ain't feeding, they flock. We hungry so You ain't learning nothing. Man, they'll just give you the basic Israelite one-on-one -on -one scripture. They tell you as an Israelite, they'll read you a couple curses, and, and they call it call the white man the devil, and that's the day. Yeah, that's it. And they all bring out the same scripture. You know what they said? Yeah, because none of them do study. Don't none of them heart. Well, I can't say Parazi. He know the Hebrew, but no, none of them really know the history. They don't really know nothing. <laughs> Peraza boy, he a Hebrew like expert. Uh, the Lord said, uh, "Don't go to the Lord." Uh, Paul said, uh, "Real quick, Paul said, uh, you know, my language, let you speak the language don't really mean shit. I mean, it's a good thing because when you come to your brothers, you gotta edify. Them. That's right. You know what I'm saying, what's the point of yeah. you speaking in another language and who's interpreting it for you? Yeah, who's that book? I know you gotta right. it, bro. Peraza made a Hebrew yeah. video, like hour long in ancient Hebrew. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. Let me ask, let me ask them. No interpretation. No, right, right. It was all for he's a vain nigga, man. You know? All that study he did is for vain is in vain. It's for nothing. It's you for know? him to uh for nothing. Prophet here. This is uh his kingdom right here. Because really the most high took the language from us. Yeah. That was part of the curses. The scripture said we we would speak a uh speak we would uh what did it say we speak in an unknown tongue or something? It's uh first Corinthians 14 and 6. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, oh, what shall I profit you? With tongues means languages. Except I speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge or by prophesying or by doctrine. In, in even these, without life giving sound, where the pipe or harp, except they give in the description and the sounds, how should it be known what is piped or harp? For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? That's Barazi. Uh... He blowing a uh, goddamn flute, man. He, got, he blowing a flute, man. He ain't, he ain't wanting nobody, man. Flute? He banging on them Congo drums. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's He's playing out of key. Yeah. Hey, the, the songs in the what? The key of C. <laughs> He's he, he in the king at, key of F. We yeah. told him we need a piano. He came with a goddamn drum set. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nasty weather today. Most high got us. He's like, oh, y'all thought y'all was good today, huh? Y'all thought y'all had clear weather. Okay. It says, so likewise, ye, except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood, how shall how shall be known what is spoken? He has spoken into the air. So the he said spoken to the air. <laughs> yeah, he's talking to himself. Therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I, uh, I shall be unto him that speaketh barbarian. He that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me. Even so, ye, for as much as you are zealous of spiritual gifts, seek ye may be excelled to edify the church. I mean, I mean, because the scripture says, uh, forbid not to speak in tongues. If you get some spirit to learn different languages, okay? But Paul said to, to excel to edify the church. Not just to not just to do something, just to show off or whatever. Oh, I got. Not to be like. Not to be 
But you have a lot of people like that, though. I mean, because you got brothers who bring out a lot of knowledge because they're trying to edify. But you got guys who use knowledge just as a, to make themselves look like a hot shot. Yeah, 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 puffed up prophets. Cause this, hey, what's that scripture said? Knowledge puff it up. You know where that's at? I need to get my, my Bible out. Like y'all get all the scriptures. Puff that. Puff. I think it's a, uh, it's a Corinthians. No, 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 no. It's not in Corinthians. Puff that. Timothy, yeah. Timothy, yeah. Puff that. Puff, did I just type in puff? P-U-F-F-E-D? Oh, shit. I'm gonna give him my phone. I got, I got I mean, cause this is not a, I mean, this is not a knowledge contest, you know? First Corinthians 8.1. No, oh, now as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifies. Oh, yep, see, charity edifies. I mean, knowledge does puff. Yeah, that's still kind of the point, though, because knowledge does puff people up. Because it's like, like those, we just talk about them Chicago guys. Because you got these guys that was in the Chicago GMS, and they broke away from that camp because they thought they got some deep revelations. They thought they had some great knowledge. Now they saying the earth is flat. You see, they see what the knowledge did to y'all. Y'all got some knowledge that puffs you up. Now you, you thought you were so smart. Now you thought the earth was flat. Or Sakari. Your boy Sakari, he was puffing up. He think he, and Sakari knows some shit too. If you watch Sakari's videos, he will bring out some good information, but you can see the knowledge is puffing him up. Cause he, he's got that proud spirit. Like I know more than all you got, you know? With, with, what's turn, you can know all the knowledge and be wicked. You know what I mean? Cause that knowledge don't mean shit. I mean, it, 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 we supposed to know, we, obviously we supposed to study. The scripture said what? 2 Timothy 2 and 15, study to show that self approved. But at the end of the day, how much you know ain't gonna save you. 23 and 4, and I will set up shepherds, hoping that we shall feed them, but shall fear no more. Not being dismayed, neither should I be lacking. Oh, yeah, because there's some knowledge that's more important than other knowledge. Like, what's the most important knowledge? Fear. Fear, the fear of the Lord, right? To know how to call in the name of the Lord, you'll be saved. You know what I mean? Uh, all right, and I, and I, and they shall not, they shall, shall they be lacking, says the Lord. Behold, the day is come, says the Lord, that I will raise up unto David a righteous branch, and the king shall regain and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And in his, in his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord of righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord, that they shall no more say the Lord lives, which brought us out the, uh, the children of Israel to the land of Egypt. But the Lord lives, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. Uh, actually, that's talking about, so that's really going to be, there's going to be a new exodus. Because, you know, like, uh, you know how we celebrate the Passover. In the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have a new holy day that's going to commemorate America being destroyed. You know what I mean? Because so, just like the Lord led us out of Egypt, and we celebrate that to this day. So in the kingdom, we're going to celebrate, we're going to have a high holy day, and we're going to celebrate the Lord destroying America. That's going to be the new holy day, the new holiday. We, there ain't going to be no Christmas in the kingdom of heaven. That ain't, that, that ain't going down. Oh, yeah. IUIC selling tickets. Acting like the Passover is a concert. Last Passover said, Happy Passover. Yeah, fuck them. Well, they had their reward. So, like the Lord said, they had their reward. Ain't nobody escaping the judgment of the Most High, so. Ain't escaping the judgment. That's good. Real judgment. Rub it ain't came. So if you want to play with fire like that, you want to make merchandise out of the Lord's, go ahead and do it. See what happens. See, see what happens to you. See how you like that. So I said he bring, he 
punish these wicked motherfuckers, but they don't, they don't, he don't bring them to correction. Yep. They busy doing all kinds of wicked shit, getting fucked up, but don't come on. Yeah, fuck them. And the most high the one that gave him over to that mind. Jeremiah. And you think about it, it's a curse in itself to be even in IUIC. You gotta thank the most high he didn't give us over to that spirit. That's a curse. That's a curse. Yep. Jeremiah 23 and 10 says, For the land is full of adulterers. For because of swearing, the land mourning. Oh yeah, this is a land of adultery. You can't tell me America is not the land of adultery. It's actually legal to, uh, to commit adultery. You can go to the courthouse and get a divorce. They'll give it to you. They'll give the, the wife, the woman, all your money. You know what I mean? Take your children away from you. Property. And every TV show you watch, all about adultery. All the music is all about adultery. The fashion, the way they women dress is all about adultery. I was a bitch ass boy. Uh, president, uh, whatever. This nigga, he, uh, he, uh, he's a liar or some shit. Oh, he's, he's voting or some shit. And he kissed the dude's wife. Oh, he got yeah. mad. He was like, he said something wow. smart to him. Well, shit. Well, I'm, old. I'm the president. Wow. Yeah. He said something, I'm the president. Well, look wow. at look like at the vice bad. president, yeah, Joe yeah, Biden. Yeah. Joe Biden was a molester. You see Joe Biden, they got videos of him on YouTube grabbing little girls' asses, telling them, <laughs> like whispering dirty shit in their little girls' ears. He's always grabbing people's breasts, uh, you know, grabbing women on the ass. He want, you know, I want them old Edomite purrs. But he got a free pass though, why? Because he was a so-called Democrat and he was down with Obama. He's an Edomite. He's an Edomite, but that's the main reason. But you know when Jake though, they, cause Jake think that Obama was their people. So anybody who was on Obama's team could do no wrong, you know what I mean? Cause they, they still they still worship Obama. You know, Candyman. Candyman out! Oh, Candyman! Alright. The pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up. In their curse, in the courts is evil. And in the force, in the force is no right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yes, in my house have I found the wickedness, says the Lord. Right, so that the prophet and the priest are profane. Because the prophets, they don't tell you nothing. They, they tell you everything's going to be fine and dandy. They'll say, oh, no, don't listen to them bums on the streets teaching. They teaching lies. They teaching hatred and division. They'll say we're teaching hatred and division. Right. The Lord, the Lord gonna bless you, brother. He gonna make you wealthy. No, the Lord. I say anybody that's pushing division. Oh, I got scriptures for that. Hold up. Twenty-three and twelve. How you, how you, how you, how you be a Muslim, but you still a poke, eat, well, he don't eat pork, but, but how you a Muslim, but yet you still got the past of spirit? Oh, how you a Muslim, you, uh, you read out the fucking Bible before you do the fucking Quran. You're right. They bring out scriptures out the Bible before they do the Quran. That's like us out here, but we bring out the Quran. I was going to say, he sounds just like a pastor. He got the, pa he got the pastor cadence and everything. He's like, no, my children. You to subscribe to him on Twitter, man. Oh, I've been subscribed to Farrakhan. Yeah, I'll be Twitter. I would tweet and say, he, he always ignore me. 